lifestyle, then all of a sudden, no, nah, that don't mean that. Well, what does it mean? All right, what if you got the answer? What do it mean? Verse 16, as free and not using your liberty for a cloak of maliciousness. As free and not using your liberty as a cloak of maliciousness, man. And part of that liberty is that grace, all right? Part of that liberty is that grace because because you, you can't say, oh, I'm under grace. I'm about to eat this pork chop. I'm under grace. I'm about to go do this dude girl. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, that's still going off, all right? Or I'm about to uh, lie to these people and get them a false prophecy. Okay? But as the servants of the Most High, honor all men, love the brotherhood, fear the Most High, honor the king. Yep. And like that, that's talking about our king. He's not talking about when it says all men. It, it's, it's basically you respect. When respect, you know, I'm, you, there's a standard of respect you give to everybody. You know what I'm saying? If you're walking up to the door, you know, or, or you say you say hi to people in the morning, say good morning, things like that. But there's a lot of Edomites that there, there's race, they won't say shit. So, you know, really, I don't say good morning, Edomites. If walk by them, unless they, I know that they'll say good morning back. If I'm at work and I see them, I say good morning, how you doing? You know, it's giving people respect. Not using your liberty as a cloak of maliciousness in all kind of ways from, from this being a lion, not only amongst your household, but in, in, in the world, you know, because you're Israelite, just cursing out every Edomite you see. Or, you basically, you give you give respect as established. Like, we're talking to these uh, these little uh, the junior nigger women, and they was talking, and certain of them showed respect, certain of them didn't. And I told them, uh, straightforward, I said, you know, you, uh, I'm talking to you this way because you, you're showing disrespect, so I'm gonna treat you as such. And, and I addressed the other one and said, you haven't told me anything, give me nothing to disrespect you on, so I'm not going to disrespect you, okay? So that's what it means, honor all men. Now you give everybody the, the, the level of honor that they deserve. They say what's up, you say what's up. Send them on their way, you know? All right, let me finish this up. It says, service be subject to your masters with all fear, not only to the good and gentle, but also to the forward. Uh, for this is thankworthy if a man for conscious to, toward the most high endure grief, suffering wrongfully. Yep, uh, suffering wrongfully, being mocked, all right, being slandered against, okay? That's uh, that's part of suffering wrongfully. And I was just talking to the brother earlier, at a point of time, this society is going to be against this doctrine, man, okay? Because they just now, they kind of starting to bring the, the Hebrew Israelites out to light, so to speak, man. Putting this on little minor radio shows or on this and that. But eventually, we probably going to be labeled domestic terrorists, man. Putting your face up. All right. So then you got to walk about this society known as, as this person that want America to fall, man. Okay. But ultimately, you're doing the right thing. All right. Which is trusting in your how about Shimmy was shot, man. All right. They got more to it. I just, it's going to change the subject. So. I wanted to read this based on what you had said. Uh, this is Deuteronomy, uh, Deuteronomy chapter four, verse five. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Most High my power commanded me, that ye should do so in the land whether ye go to possess it. Yeah, even though we're not possessing this land, we're supposed to keep the law, statutes, and commandments, regardless. Is you're not supposed to have a mindset that if you found out about Jesus, you went to Jesus, you had this unction to go to Jesus, but you still remain the same nigga. You just call on his name. That's not the that's not the standard of Israelites. It never has been the standard of any Israelite or any any person that served the Lord. Period. Even if it was the uh, those those Samaritans, which are Ethiopians or Cushites. That went in the land when they took on when they took on the law, statutes, and commandments. They changed their ways, right? So when you go to the Lord, you're supposed to change your ways, become a new creature. Okay. So when you go to a land, even though we're not possessing this land, we came in this land as Gentiles. Now we woke up to your how about Shimei We change our ways. 
Okay? Go ahead. Keep therefore and do them. For yeah. this, keep the Lord's Sabbath commandments and do them in body and in spirit. Okay, go ahead. For this is your wisdom and your understanding in sight of the nations. Yeah. This will make you look intelligent in sight of the nations. Not lazy niggas, not uh um thieving, not thugs and all this and that. Just give us our wisdom in the sight of the nations, man. Okay? When it when it tells you to not uh tax your brother, use use uh do usury against your brother, not to do things, such things against your brother, that gives us a lot of sight in the sight of the, a lot of wisdom in the sight of the nations. But considering that our people don't uphold the law, statutes, and commandments, that they are uh now now they are um look at it as stupid, you know, thugs. You know, now we are able to be oppressed. One thing, one main reason because we lost the power of the most high, man. Okay, we still don't have the power. That's why we gotta go through your house shut. Okay. Go ahead. We shall hear all these statues and say, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. For yeah, so yeah, so you gotta keep the law, statutes, and commandments in order to become wise and understanding. Okay, go ahead. For what nation is there so great? Who at the most high so nigh unto them, as the most high our power is in all things that we call upon him for. So now the most high uh, technically is back and still turned towards toward us. But through Yahweh Shai, he listens to our prayers. So therefore, it's Yahweh Shai that uh read that again. For what nation is there so great? Who at the most high so nigh unto them? As the most high our power is in all things that we call upon him for. Yeah, so that grace, that power, that wisdom, that honor, instead of us right now, it's going to Yahweh Shai. Well, it's still going to go through Yahweh Shai, but until we get salvation, we just, you know, we, we just talk to Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is like the, the scout for us, so to speak. He, could, he leaves, but he comes back and forth, you know. He comes in and sup with us. And then he goes to the right hand of the Most High and delivers them, delivers our messages and put in good word for us. Okay? Like the Most High in heaven, like, you know, hey, how you doing this morning? You know, I think it's in the morning. How you doing today? Blah, blah, blah. And Yahweh Shai is like, yeah, man, I just came from, from, uh, from, from the third, not the third heaven, but, the, uh, you know, the third, the what, what dimension we in? I came, I just came from Israel dealing with our people. And be like, oh, man, them? Yeah, like no, they they all right. They got they got they waking up, you know. They got this these people, this this and that. But yeah, the most high, yeah, I was like, man, he ain't worried about us right now, man. He just moving on with the process, even though he know we gonna wake up eventually. But he's like, oh, okay, you know, we all shots the ones that deliver that message because the most high ain't coming down to hear nothing, man. This ain't the this ain't like the time of Moses, okay? Where the most high walked with Moses, man. All right, he ain't walking with us like he did with Moses. Okay, I'm gonna say even ultimately it's really the angels. You know what I'm saying? That's about us. You know what I'm saying? Like I forget where the scripture at, but it said they writing down things. Yeah, yeah. It, that, but that's just an analogy I gave. Oh, okay. Because through yeah. your shy, of course your shy is is, is 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 the most high. Then your shy, then the angels. So of course your shy, because your shy is not coming to all us individually and in, in, in jotting these things down. We have angels that are, are assigned to our. Uh, establishments whether it be one two we don't know but we do know that you know that that Yahweh Shai did say he have a legion of angels that could come down and do do damage if he wanted them to so therefore those they ain't leave they ain't on break you know they still there so those same legions don't only go to war but they they write reports man you know or he might have a different legion of angels to specifically write reports you know Go ahead. And what nation is there so great and had statutes and judgments so righteous as all this law which I set before you this day? Yeah. These laws, this Bible makes us a great people. But in this society nowadays, through liberty and through stupidity and through uh, misinformation, our people decide to abandon the Bible. Okay? They get mad and say, well, why? Why would, so, why would God, you know, I get mad at my grandmother because she has so much faith and she's poor and she this and she's that. 
And I'm like, why would you serve a God that let you be poor and let our people die and suffer? That's a selfish statement. Look at what you doing. Same person that's saying that smoking a damn cigarette, man. You know, the same people that same people that complain about that, you'll look at these people, the, the same people that the person that said that fucking with white bitches. You know, when I say that, he like, that's his shorty. He, he would have he would have married her if he could have. Type of thing. You see what I'm saying? This is the very same person that made this statement. But you black power. You see what I'm saying? Like, it, if you getting into the mindset, why Jake shoot, why these crackers shooting up Jake? Because y'all letting them, man. You ain't standing up for nothing. Right? Why why Jake shooting Jake? Because y'all ain't got no knowledge of who you are. No self-awareness. At the end of the day, you ain't calling on your how about shimmy out shy. You ain't calling through um calling on your house through your shy. You ain't glorifying your house shy. You're not keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. That's why all this is happening. And we can go into every aspect and show you through the law, statutes, and commandments why you shouldn't do that. You know, just like what I was going through it with my relative about why um fucking child support is destructive toward the black family, man. Or the so-called black family, the Israelite family. Okay? It is it's total destructive because a, a woman, when they leave a man, it ain't supposed to leave with nothing. Okay? And if a woman leave the man, for one, you're not supposed to go to, uh, give me that in uh, First Corinthians, I believe it's chapter 6 and 1, or chapter 5 and 1. Really, when, when you have a problem with another Israelite, you ain't supposed to go to Esau. Or you got a, a thing, the scripture said don't make any uh, covenant with the heathen. The marriage certificate in itself, you shouldn't have to go to a so-called white man to get married. Okay? To be established as anything. If you want to be a carpenter, you shouldn't have to go to a so-called white man. A licensed, a licensed doctor. There's people that's, that are raised in families that are doctors and know everything that a licensed doctor knows, but they can't do nothing to nobody or do CPR or anybody. It'll be considered like murder or anything, even if you save their life in this dumbass society, man. You know? You got to be CPR certified. You got to let this person die.